What's up, everybody? Welcome to Different Take, and today I'm going to be telling you a few things about Parasite before you watch. Hit me with that intro. This is gonna be a good day. Avengers! If you did not know about Parasite before, now you do, because it just won four Academy Awards for Best Original Screenplay, Best International Film, Best Director, and... And the Oscar goes to Parasite. <laughs> sweeping at the awards. Now, what tends to happen with these movies is people will go and search this movie. They'll hear that they won, they'll see it in the news, they'll hear it's all over social media, it's trending. This movie won all these awards and if they didn't see it or they didn't hear about it, they're gonna go and they're gonna try and find it. And they're gonna go, I didn't know about this movie, I gotta find this movie. This movie, did you hear about this movie? It won all these awards? Yes, it did and it's really, really good. But what tends to happen when these movies win these awards is that people go and watch them that generally don't watch these types of movies. They don't know what they're getting into. So they watch it and they go, I didn't like it. I didn't get it. It was stupid. I don't understand it. It was overrated. And about the whole time they're sitting on their phone like, yeah, it's, it, the movie's still on. It's still on. Oh, it's still on. I don't understand it because you're not watching it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to tell you a few things about this movie before you go and watch it. Don't get me wrong. It deserves all the accolades. It's a great fantastic movie but people who don't generally watch these movies this is what you're getting into okay first thing it is a south korean film so they speak as they should korean if you do speak korean then you're good to go but if you don't you're gonna be reading subtitles and i can see people now going i didn't know it was in subtitles why are there all these words i can't pay attention i can't watch the movie and read the words on the screen at the same time it's so confusing i have to look up and look down if i read the lines on the bottom then i can't see what's going on up top and i don't know what's happening so if you didn't know that now you know okay second thing it does not fit a genre this movie is a plethora of things it's a thriller but it's not just a thriller it's also a comedy but it's not really a comedy it's a dark comedy but it's also a drama. That makes sense? No. I'm not vegetable. No. A lot of stuff going on. But it refuses to fit in a genre. It refuses to fit in a box. It's not really easy to place, which that's the way it should be. Doesn't, nothing has to be cookie cutter. I know the title could be misleading. If you're going into it thinking it's a horror film or a sci-fi film or an action pack movie, what can happen sometimes is after watching Desperate Housewives or whatever for the upteenth time, or after watching the 30th superhero movie in a row, which don't get me wrong, I love the superhero movies, so just want to make that very clear. What can tend to happen is people don't know what to expect. So they go into this thinking that it's a specific type of movie, but it's not. It's a little bit of all these things. If you're looking for big action-packed explosions, superheroes fighting in space, cars exploding and buildings falling down and things that just hit you over the head with CGI stuff. That's not this type of movie. Okay, and finally, number three. This movie is brilliantly layered with social themes and social commentary, and it has multiple things to say. After you get done watching this movie, it makes you think. You're sitting there thinking to yourself, huh, and it sits with you and it stays with you. Then you start thinking about all the different things that happened in the movie and then how it pertains to different things. And then you're thinking about, oh, it also meant this and it meant that. And then it makes you want to watch it again. You can watch this movie multiple times and see different things. You cannot just watch this movie and just take the face value of the story and just kind of go, oh, okay. No, you cannot. This movie has multiple themes and it has multiple things to say, but it's layered. You can't really fit it into one box. This movie does not pertain to one class or one specific person or one specific group of people. It really makes you think and it's really complex in that way. It's brilliantly written. So think about that before you watch it. I can see people watching this movie, looking at the story and just go, it doesn't make any sense. Well, no, it does. It just, yeah, different layers. And those are just a few things that you should know about Parasite before you go and watch it. I love this movie. It's a brilliant movie and it deserves all the accolades. So go see it. If you have not seen it yet, go see it. If you don't get it, hey, it's okay. You're not any more or less of a person if you don't get it or not. Let me know what you think in the comments below what you thought of Parasite because it's an awesome movie and I want to hear what everyone thinks. So if you like this video, do me a huge, huge favor. Hit the like and subscribe button and hit the little bell so you can get notifications on all my upcoming content. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Thank you, Selena. Take it away.